Wow, it actually took half a season to finally find a bad episode in this season. And of course it has goosebumps in it. Ooh, that's a hot mug, guys. Hey guys, this is my review for Family Remains, the 11th episode of season four. And we have finally come across the first episode that I don't really like. <sighs> Considering that this is a season return, Supernatural has a tendency to always have a bit of lacking season returns. After the plethora of fantastic episodes that was the first half of the season and also the season ending on a pretty darn good episode, we go to an episode where there are weird humans in the house that are eating people and eating rats and Goosebumps gets kidnapped by them. I say Goosebumps because this is one of the first times that this kid was in anything. Like He would go on obviously to be in 13 Reasons Why and the reason why I keep on saying Goosebumps is because he was in Goosebumps and I keep thinking Goosebumps. It's a really weird joke considering I've actually haven't reviewed the movie. This episode has the brothers going to a house that had a brutal murder which was the act of incestuous children taking down their absolutely despicable father slash grandfather and there's a family there that are like hey we've moved to a new place to try and start a new life over oh shit uncle gets killed ah, i don't know i just i don't care for the family at all i don't care for the strife that's happening in this episode also dean at the end has to have another monologue about hell now admittedly the last two episodes were building yes it was okay and then this this one is more like, uh, I'm so tortured, boo me. I know I'm a little bit hypocritical considering the development that we had in the last two episodes talking about Dean and his time in hell. Yeah, I don't know, it just seems forced. It just seems like, hey, nothing happened in this episode. Let's just put this little thingy at the end. Funny enough, if I'm correct, this episode was written by Jeremy Carver too, so it's a bad episode by Jeremy. Okay, that sucks, but it's just not a good episode. It's not fun. And I think I'm just going at it because of just the caliber that has been this season so far. I gave Metamorphosis a four and I like that episode. This one, I don't even know because I'm just so kind of confounded by how boring the episode is. And obviously just some of the weird choices that are in this one, the part where they do it in night vision. Ah, I didn't get that because maybe this was some attempt at trying to do found footage gooby gooby because which was that was a big high at the time and then there's that random twist with there being an incestuous brother which they didn't build up to at all they just added that in at the end just to kind of give a kick and then a lot of the episode is very dark it's not really easy to see and the family just has no personality to it and the only reason why i remember anything about this family now and i didn't even remember it before is that goosebumps is the kid and it's cool to see this kid start out out. I don't know. I'm just not a big fan of this episode. I don't think it's fun. I don't think it's enjoyable. And the fact that this is a return to season four is kind of disappointing. I think this might actually be the worst episode of this season, if I'm correct, because I'm going to give this episode a two out of seven. Woof. That's harsh. I know it's harsh, but it's just, it's just boring retreads of what we've seen before. The idea of these people living in the walls, I guess maybe, but honestly, they would look like the thing in the attic on the end of quarantine, like absolutely frail looking, absolutely useless. Wouldn't be able to take on anything except rats, maybe. But those are my thoughts, so let's see what you guys thought of this episode. I know this is not everyone's favorite episode, though I really enjoy Family Remains. For me, it's a great bottle episode that feels like a mini B horror movie. The twist that she is not a ghost and that she has a brother added some good surprises. When the girls stuck, when the girls are stuck in the shed, it may have been a bit hokey, but when the dad kills the girl, the sound effects really bring home the horror and the brutality of it all. Then to come to the final scene where Dean admits to having love dealing out the torture after having been tortured himself for so long, it was heartbreaking and it shows that he has started down the path of becoming a demon. That's... Uh, I guess, but I think at this point it was just like, alright, they had hit the bangers the last three times and they just wanted to add one more bit to it. I know it was obviously dealing towards uh, head on a pin, but I don't know, it just it felt so forced at the end of the episode. There's something about family remains that is so good to me because it is a double meaning. Family remains strong, or family bodily remains. 
I always enjoy the take where Supernatural has Sam and Dean fighting messed up humans. I really love all the actors who portray the family because it reminds me of a way of an old Disney anim uh, movie series that you totally should review sometime, or at least on Disney Plus because it's hilarious. Mr. Boogity. <laughs> That's a funny name. Really love how genuinely scary the episode is and how creepy it is that all these children were born. It is also interesting how Dean feels much worse of a person compared to the twins who were simply defending their home. Now I know I'm getting a little bit of flack for bringing this up, but the last scene where Dean talks about his time in hell of how much he enjoyed it is why I think when Sam and Dean were suffering worse in solitary confinement from season 12. The reason I think Dean considers solitary confinement worse than hell is because he spent his last 10 years torturing other damn souls in hell. I think it's important for people, for Sam, or for, to, to realize Sam didn't say the solitary confinement was worse than his time in hell with Lucifer and Michael, or, and some third brother keeps uh, forgetting about. But that being said, D Dean definitely went through a traumatic experience in hell, and it's part of the character art, but solitary confinement is worse than having to relieve your pain by torturing others. That's just my take. I'd give it a 5 out of 10 when it comes to your ranking. By all means, not a horrible episode, and well, not well acted, or really well acted, but the only reason it was so engaging is because of our love for the characters Sam and Dean overall. Funny you bring up the, the solitary confinement, because I don't know, like... I still feel that it's they were in there for like a couple of months like a year sure maybe but they were only in there for I, I don't know I've always found that bit just a bit ridiculous mind you all of you are being a lot more nicer to this episode than I was and I'm starting to feel bad hey man come on man can't wait for to you review hammer of the gods I look forward to that episode as well Family Remains was a good, normal, non-story episode. The twist had me somewhat disappointed because I always like when normal humans discover the supernatural is real. And having family like this makes it feel like Sam and Dean live in a world where normal occurs. Of course, here it went into some Silent Hill stuff. Humans becoming twisted without being a ghost or a vampire is an old idea, and it always blends the ideas of humans also being just as bad as monsters. Either way, some of the sick mind are, are how they were raised, etc. I like the episode mostly because of the interactions between the family and the brothers. Had a goosebump feel in a certain moment. So that's funny. That's funny. You even mentioned that. Wish we had more of them. Judging on this episode, 7 out of 7, guilty pleasure. Five. Wow, everyone was so much nicer to this episode than me. I just really didn't like how cliche a lot of the elements were. I didn't like how very unoriginal a bits were. And the twist at the end just felt very sh uh, forced. It felt really shoved in just for a twist sake. Family Remains featuring feral children and the licked hand, the doggy lick, and the humans can lick to urban legend. That one I didn't mind. I didn't mind. That was probably the best part of the episode for me. I feel Supernatural fans' opinions of this episode are split, but at least most fans do not detest the episode as much as Bugs or Mannequin 3 Reckoning. Yeah, I don't know. I, I can't remember Mannequin 3, honestly. Bugs, yeah, I guess, a little bit. Uh, not a phobia. The episode has an appealing concept. Unfortunately, the writer's intentions fall short. The subject matter of this episode is disturbing, and, and especially the genealogy of the feral children. I feel that Benders is a better written human episode, a uh, human monster episode. However, personally, this episode is more horrifying. Creepy children tend to be t um, effective scares. Also, the wall space section of the episode where Dean and Ted is stressful. The most memorable part of the episode is when Dean and Mr. He relates to the feral children. Yeah, I think there's a lot of elements from this episode that are used from other ones. Like you said, there's the benders, no exit. No exit has a great wall sequence. But yeah, I don't know. I, I just did not like this episode as much as all, all of you guys did. The last one here, season four for me is the second favorite season, and that's due to the fact that there are not they, we don't have any bad episodes. And even the episodes that I've complained about so far, besides the metamorphosis, are not so bad, just on that not that good either. However, there are five awful, awful episodes in this season along with the aforementioned metamorphosis. Family Remains is one of them. I don't have much to say about this episode. It's filler, it's boring, the twist made me completely check out as I hate Sam and Dean being wrong against a bunch of annoying characters. Apparently the CW only, uh, and only in the CW an actress as bad as Helen Slate could find a job. All in all, this episode is the first in the series of bad episodes of the second half of season four, but don't worry, it picks up. Also, the term half is a movie term 
as they usually split the first, second, and third. Sorry if I confused you. Actually, I'm confused now what you were talking about there. But yeah, no, admittedly you are right. There, are, we are going to take a little bit of a dip. We're going to get a bunch of filler episodes in a row, and yeah, it's going to be a little bit of a downturn, but it's all wait. Thank you guys so much for your comments. And the next episode is Chris Angel's a douchebag. I remember my brother actually liking his show and me just hating it back in the what was that? Was that the late 2000s? Oh, I feel old thinking about that now. It's like over 12 years now. Anyways, give me your guys' comments about that episode, and I'll read those off in the next review. Otherwise, guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, leave a like, and if you're interested in more, subscribe. And I'll see you guys next week. Thanks for watching the video. My name is Nitz, and you might remember me from the animated cult classic TV show, Undergrads. It's been a while, but I'm happy to say The Click is finally getting back together in an all-new movie, thanks to a successful Kickstarter campaign. But we are still asking for your support. To see any and all updates about the upcoming Undergrads movie, be sure to check out and like the Bring Back Undergrads Facebook page. And with any luck, we'll see you guys soon.